Hey guys, welcome back to Great Commission Alliance Media Channel. My name is Chris, and today I'm going to share with you um, a verse uh, from Psalms that's uh, been very important in my life and my wife's as well. And it's Psalm 119, verse 105. So stay with me as uh, we get started. So we're here looking at Psalm 119, verse 105, and I'm going to read it for us now. It says, uh, Your word is a lamp to our feet and a guide to our path. So as we look at this, uh, we need to ask the questions of, you know, what is the light and what is the darkness? And how is it that the light can guide us? So first question that we have is, what is the light? It says here in this verse that your word is, is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So it's the Word. So what is the Word? God's Word. Uh, well, let's look at John chapter 1, verse 1. And it says, In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him, not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And then if we look down at verse 14, it says, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. So we see here that Jesus is this Word that, that took on the flesh. It's God. Jesus is God and God's Word. And he came here to take on flesh to be the light of this world. Jesus actually confirms this too. If we look at John chapter 8, verse 12, it says, Jesus says, I, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So we see here it's Jesus that is this light of life, and it's him and his word. And so what is the darkness? Well, we know darkness is absence of light. So what is the absence of God? Well, sin. Sin is what separates us from God. And so here we see it's uh, sin that is the darkness, but Jesus is that light. And so what does that mean for us? It means, one, that all of us walk in darkness. As the Bible says, all of us are sinners and guilty before God, that not one is righteous. And so therefore, Jesus came here in the flesh to die for our sins and give us new life. He rose again. He defeated death. And now we can put our faith and our trust in Jesus Christ and Jesus alone, that he was the ultimate atonement. He paid the ultimate penalty for our sins. He took it on his shoulders. And if we put our faith and our trust in him, that we can have new life and eternal life. And we can now have light in this world. You know, do you ever try walking around in the dark? What happens? Well, as you walk, you stumble, don't you? You trip on things. In fact, your fears become heightened because you don't know what's around you. It says in John eleven ten, 10, it says, If anyone walks in the night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. So if we want to have a straight path that we walk on in our life and we don't want to be falling, uh, we don't want to be screwing up, we don't want to be uh, dealing with consequences to living in the sin and living in rebellion with God, that we need to have the light in us. That means we need to have Christ within us by accepting Him as our Lord and Savior. And we need to start spending time with Him in the Word. It's the Word that is going to guide our path. I think what I love the most about this is it says that your Word is a lamp to our feet. You know, a lamp only guides your next few steps, doesn't it? It doesn't give you the full picture. It doesn't tell you the full journey. When Michelle and I um, were praying about and felt God's leading us to go full-time into ministry, um, I was in the middle of my career. Things were going very well. We were doing well, as I guess the world would say, and making a lot of money. And I knew that God was asking me to leave that. And I think what scared me the most about that was I didn't know where that would lead me. I didn't see the final picture. I wanted things planned out in my life. And I knew I had to take a step of faith. 
and not know the full picture, but I needed to take a step forward. And that's what it tells us here. It says it's going to give us the next step. And until we take that next step in faith, God will not give us the next ones. And so my encouragement to you guys is that we trust God with the steps that he's calling us into. And don't wait until you figure it all out. Don't wait till you get the full picture because you won't. And God knows, he knows better than to give us the full picture. If he showed me everything, I don't know if I would have been able to take that next step in faith. But as I do, he gives me strength then for the next step and the next step and the next step. So guys, I hope this is encouraging to you. And thank you for getting into God's word with me today. And please come back, subscribe, continue to get our daily encouragements from God's word. Thank you so much. You take care.